Hi guys, in this video we're handle, we will handle sorting in SQL and we have here a normal query uh, which has three fields and has a certain filter in here and we wish to sort the data in there. Now sorting in SQL goes through order, actually order by and now you add the key or keys you wish to sort by. So let's say first of all I'd like to sort by the surname so I just write in surname. Now I can sort here if I save that and run the query then already I've got the uh, surnames sorted. Uh, obviously as you see here they're standard they're sorted in an ascending order that's the standard sorting uh, uh, order. If I wish to sort them in a descending order then I just gotta add the keyword DESC for descending and if I save that now I uh, have them sorted in a descended order or a descending order and uh, this one here is a sort of not an E but a, I, I don't know what you call this uh, alphabet but basically it comes after the Z. Right now if I wish to um, sort by more than one key it is uh, they can these that further key can be added after a comma so first of all surname that's the first sorting key and now the second key would be forename and here we have a typical sorting that you find in in phone books or you know address books or whatever uh, surname and then forename and what that means that uh, people are actually sorted by their surname but should two people have the same surname then they will be sorted by those two people with the same surname they will be then sorted by the forename and if i add the third key like nation then here again uh the the third key nation would come into play if if, if two people have the same surname and forename and mind you you can add here uh, further sorting keys which are in the table but not necessarily in the select statement right so if i save that now and run the query then um oh nationality my mistake right save it and now run and there we have it now now we are we have sorted everything everybody by their surname and should two people have the same surname then they will be sorted by their forename and and it, it, first surname that's why it's first in the in the sequence here and then forename and you can see here that for instance here uh, here we have two people with the same surname and now they get these two only with these two for instance uh, the second key i.e forename comes into play where the george comes before red and again if we had like this the uh, uh, two people with the same for and surname then obviously the third key nationality would come into play. So that's one way of ordering things in SQL. Another way which is by not by field names but by column numbers. So for instance uh, for, um, for name is the first column so I can say order by one and save and if I run the query now I'm actually um, uh, sorting by for name and if I want to replicate the sorting order I had before surname and then forename I would have to go two and then one and then three those are the field numbers uh, uh, column numbers for those fields and if I save that and run the query I would basically have uh, the same sorting order as before so these are the two ways to sort and um, personally I prefer sorting by field names because you can easily uh, it's much it renders the code much more readable because um, seeing those numbers I would go I would have to go back to the select statement and see what who is two and who's one and so on and okay our query here is a, is a microscopic query uh, when you have bigger real life queries like you know that could be very uh, tedious to to have uh, sorting by numbers by column numbers so uh, I, I prefer, that's my, but that's my only my personal opinion, I prefer sorting by field names, but the result is the same.